Hi everyone, this is Dan. Welcome to Anglogeist. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. This is the daily forecast. It is for all signs. It's originally created for Saturday the 22nd of July, but it's not solely set for that date. If you're seeing it on a different date and it makes sense to your situation when you're currently watching it, by all means utilize the reading when you see it. Um, I want to apologize for not doing a reading the last two days. I've just been having some personal stuff going on and trying to catch up on sleep and it's just been crazy and so I kind of let things go to the wayside but we're back so um, for those of you that are new please check out the drop down menu underneath any of my daily videos in there is just some general housekeeping rules things I want you to think about when utilizing my channel what decks I'm using in the reading um, how to follow me on social media, and if you want a private reading, you would even need to message me at my Instagram or my Facebook business page. Please note, I will not um, ever initiate the conversation of selling you a reading. So if somebody were to approach you and say they were me trying to sell you a reading, it's not me. So just keep that in mind. Um, I will be referring back to the Sunday underpinning energy, which is the Sunday reading. Uh, that goes out that is like a look at the week ahead and it's just like another layer underneath the cards that we have here today so if you hear me talking about cards you don't see in this reading I'm referring to that and that populates in the lower left hand corner at the end of this video if you want to watch it so let me get these cards shuffled and see what the spirit want us to know one second here <clears throat> I'm going to get started while I shuffle the clarifiers. So our card out for the day is the lovers. Alignment and harmony. Where are they headed through that doorway? The lovers can sometimes signify a choice. Gemini energy, it is major arcana, so there could be a big choice ahead of us to, uh, today or during this period, whenever you're seeing this reading. Um, it could be surrounding a relationship. It doesn't necessarily always have to be a romantic relationship, but usually it indicates a romantic relationship. But this could be, you know, a decision to draw closer to a friend, a coworker, a family member, somebody that's significant in our lives, or, you know, maybe to pull away if that's the decision we need to make. Ultimately, the lovers represents that idea of harmony and balance, love in a relationship, or, or seeking that out um, within the relationships that we're in, um, you know, kind of following what feels right in our heart rather than what maybe our mind is telling us. Now, I'm not saying stay with somebody that's treating you poorly, but the question here with the lovers is, is this relationship or situation giving me what I need? Is it opening me up to say like this new doorway that we see here? Is there a path forward with this situation? All of those things can center around choices and decisions we need to make within the situation or um, within the relationship that are significant. This is a big decision. Not only do I feel like, you know, our heart might be guiding us, I just noticed that there's this small little moon up here at the top of the card. Our intuition could be guiding us towards this situation relationship in a different way too, where we have to make that choice as to whether or not this is actually growing and bearing fruit, or is it is there something better out there for us? This can be just us pursuing what we love, whether it's a hobby, a job, a role that we play, a position that we have in life, or, you know, maybe, like, I'm just using this as an example, maybe we love being a mother, and we love how we mother our children. It can be that sort of energy, too, and choosing to delve deeper into that love and focusing more on that love to bring about the harmony and the alignment that the lovers would represent. Now, let's go to the Cosmic Insights deck. It says, no, it's not the right time. Well, our decision might have been made for us. <laughs> 
this could be around a relationship for some of you and it could be a relationship that's not that yes you can't care deeply about but it's not necessarily bearing the fruit that i spoke about and we might need to not head in a different direction but like trust our heart and move forward from a place of compassion even if the situation relationship or person isn't behaving the way we want them to we can still love them but we can love them from afar we can allow them to be who they are um allow them to go through the changes they need to go through and still have love for them or still have fondness for them in our heart this no to me indicates that there might be something that's going on within the situation or relationship for us that we know doesn't feel right intuitionally or emotionally and the decision here is do we continue this on with it within it with the parameters that are, are are being set during this i hope that makes sense let's go to the star maiden oracle this is a major arcana card coming from spirit just to, oh my god it's the lovers again <laughs> Um, well, so I'll say this, the lover's card is number six and sixes are about balance and harmony. So if we find ourselves trying to balance or harmonize our close, dear friendships, romantic relationships, our work relationships, whatever it may be, we're trying to do it from a place of compassion and love, trying to relate to the other side and understand them a little bit better. The no card makes me feel like Potentially there have been some boundaries crossed or um, some, you know, aspect of this, whatever this is for you, whether it's a situation or relationship, whatever it is, the no card says to me that, you know, something, someone's boundaries have been overstepped or it's not okay. That doesn't necessarily mean that we don't love that person anymore, but <clears throat> finding that it, it could almost be, to be honest, it could almost be about loving ourselves enough to say no and, and draw that boundary and move ahead from that place of compassion and love, make that decision and do it for ourselves rather than for anyone else or a counterpart within the situation. Remember the grounding stone too, this is just pulling my mind to the grounding stone for the week, is that word forgive. And so there could very well be a, a dissolution of a relationship or, or an expansion of a relationship, but some ground rules need to be set with that no, no, this no card here and the um, forgive stone for the week says to me that we may have to like follow our principles, our boundaries, and set new paths forward for ourselves. We have to choose those. So we have the three of cups in the clarifiers. It's a card of celebration. We have the page of swords. A little bit of investigation, maybe some truth even coming out, and the Eight of Cups. Some of us may be walking away. Um, whatever this was, I think that it was dear to all of us. I mean, those of you that are watching this video and relating, but I really do feel like there was a boundary crossed or a secret revealed or some bit of knowledge that we didn't otherwise have access to that we've gained access access to and it's almost taken the party that we see the three of cups as into that eight of cups which is like a, okay i don't i don't think i can do this or i need to walk away um gather some space draw a boundary be the bigger person it's not like i don't get this sense of staying here fighting right sometimes the page of swords can be about you know investigating or snooping, you know, maybe seeking new information. Some of that new information may assist us in finding that no answer for ourselves or making the choice that the, both the, the two lovers cards represent. We have to make the choice that's best for ourselves. And I think in doing so, or when we do so, uh, for those of you that are relating to the Eight of Cups, I also think on the other side of those Eight of Cups is the celebration and the freedom that the Three of Cups represents. Part of my, my question here when I look at these cards is, is there a relationship in your life that you cared for deeply that has gone stale for whatever reason? Whether it's through someone else's actions or your own. Um, and I get with that no card, it might be through someone else's actions, but it's like 
if it's no longer healthy for us or it's not serving its purpose, it's not bringing us the joy that the Three of Cups offers, then it's time to sort of pack our things and go, you know? Some of you, like I said, with that Page of Swords, may be looking for a bit of information or understanding um, so that it can be easier to walk away, but ultimately it feels like in walking away, we're walking towards something new, something better. You know, any sort of loving relationship, even if it doesn't go well, teaches us something about ourselves and how we are with others. And I think the focus, seeing the lovers here twice, is about regardless of the outcomes, regardless of what boundaries may have been cro crossed or choices that, that were made by whatever party, we need to forgive them and like move on with this compassion, with this clear, decided energy of the lovers. Let's go to the grounding stone. It, I'll say this too, it was interesting because we had that word cycles on the um, cosmic uh, insights deck for the week. So a cycle could be coming to an end for some of you, that's the Eight of Cups. But a new cycle also begins. That's the joy of the Three of Cups. Uh, nature abhors a vacuum. So when we remove someone from our life or we make a decision to go in a different direction, even if it's away from something that once provided us um, a sense of satisfaction, in doing that, we open ourselves up to new sources of that satisfaction that can even be um, more profound or even greater, I think. So the grounding stone for the day, here we go, it's on carnelian, which I associate with the root chakra, is miracle. It's funny too because this card, the, I'm sorry, this stone is pulling my attention to the clothing and the cards of the red. I'm going to say this, when they say ground in a miracle, understand that whatever is going on, because that no is a pretty resounding no, you know, whatever is going on, whether we're dra drawing boundaries in a relationship, and it can be any type of relationship, guys, remember that, maybe it's a relationship with our boss, it's been become inappropriate, and I don't mean like, you know, that we're sleeping with the boss, I mean like, maybe somebody we once respected at work is no longer treating us the right way, or is, 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 I don't know, just doing something that's not necessarily correct. We need to be a little bit, um, we need to remain in the compassion of the lovers and understand that even if this isn't the, go, the way that we thought it would go, I feel like with the miracle stone, it says like, you know, trust spirit, ground in the miracles of whatever is going on, even if it feels like it's going off the rails or changing because of that no energy, and then allow yourself to, as you're grounding in that miracle, allow that Eight of Cups to transform into the joy of the Three of Cups. That there's freedom, wisdom, knowledge on the other side of whatever this may be for you. And all you have to do is, is you know, remain compassionate while you're doing it. That doesn't mean, you know, you have to put up with anybody's garbage, but taking care of oneself first and foremost throughout this transition is going to be the most healing and powerful for us. I hope that makes sense. If anybody, if this is resonating with anybody, please let me know. It certainly re resonates with me with something I've been dealing with in my personal life. And that's part of the reason why I took two days off because I just felt so emotionally wonky. I didn't want myself to bleed into these readings. So please reach out and let me know if this makes sense to you. Ground in the miracles that positive change can come through ne negative experience. Even if that change is just better knowledge of who we are and what we deserve. Um, please like the video, share the video out, leave me a question or comment, and subscribe to the channel. I will see you tomorrow, and we will see how this energy builds. All right, take care. Bye.